You do a survey of the newspapers around the world this morning, of Twitter feeds, you see the reaction that the chaos and turbulence in Washington cannot be underestimated. That's the reaction of folks overseas. And that's important. Are they because nervous? Do they find it interesting? Do they find it amusing? Do they find it frightening? They are anxious and uncertain, and I'm sure that they're working hard to interpret what could be seen as arbitrary behavior on the part of the president. That's relevant because we face a complex situation overseas. We face simultaneous challenges in Syria, in Russia, and North Korea. These aren't just American challenges. These are international challenges. We want our international partners to join us. They will if they feel that they can trust us and that there is a certain policy-making process in Washington. Okay. That hasn't been thrown. You're, you're a global guy, Mark. You're a global guy. We've had Sally Yates. Yep. Removed. We've had Preet Bharara removed. Now we have James Comey removed. But these are all largely domestic agencies. Does what's happening domestically play or have an impact on international relations and investigations? We have, we've also had a national security advisor removed within 24 days on the job. And most of the foreign policy slots in the Trump administration are empty. That creates great uncertainty and question marks in the minds of our partners around the world. That's incredibly important because we want our partners to join us in word and deed. And they will only do so if they feel that we're, if, if we're up to the job. You take a look at the international markets. In certain ways, the first you know, 100 days of the Trump administration, people have looked in Washington and, and followed it, but there has not been dramatic anxiety pertaining to it. I worked for two presidents, one of which was under investigation by a special prosecutor, the other of which was not, President Clinton and President Obama, respectively. I can tell you that when a special prosecutor begins to undertake an investigation of a, of a White House, it in certain ways stops the train. Under President Obama, we had nothing like that. And so it was much more easy to manage meaning, meaning the policy Meaning you were not able to process. get your administration's um, agenda so, passed when, once Clinton became under the focus of a special investigation. Becky, in, it, in certain ways, an investigation freezes the situation. Not entirely, but it affects everything. Mark, we have a Trump administration that wants to do an infrastructure plan, a tax plan, and so forth. An investigation, particularly pertaining to overseas manipulation of our constitutional process, that can affect a lot of things. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.